Hello friends. Today in this video, I will uh, talk about the uh, hidden taxonomic concept. Um, so in the previous video about the custom post types and custom taxonomies, we saw that uh, we can um, we can register a hidden taxonomy or hidden custom post types. Like where if I pass this public argument false, then it won't be available or it won't be accessible to pub, uh, to the users into the uh, front end, not in the back end. But in the back end, we can uh, pass the show UI false and it will be completely hidden for the admin in the WordPress dashboard as well. Okay, so how we can use this hidden uh, custom uh, taxonomy uh, concept and what are the use cases where we can use it? Okay, so let me let me give you uh, uh, let me explain this one problem statement. Okay, so uh, so uh, for this problem statement, I have registered uh, people or the person post. Okay, and I have created this for uh, person post here, and I have also registered a career taxonomy. And I have added two terms, actor and director. And for now, I have added only the actor's post. So I have uh, assigned an actor careers term to this three, uh, four posts. Okay. And similarly, uh, in the movie library plugin into the post type, I have registered this a uh, person post. Okay. And it's uh, so don't confuse between people and person. So person is a singular and people is a plural. Uh, just to be uh, just to be a clarification, just to avoid the confusion during this video. Okay. So I have registered this uh, uh, person post type and um, and I have registered this career taxonomy. Okay, so similar like we saw for the movie and uh, uh, genre taxonomy, uh, movie post type and genre taxonomy. Okay, now uh, I want to like I want uh, like uh, now there is a use case is that uh, for the movies like when I view the movie into the front end, I also want to display the list of the actors. Okay, who worked on that movie or who seeing or like who worked on that movie okay so uh, what i have for that i have registered uh, custom meta boxes so if i go to the, this movie kgf movie you can see the below actors uh, meta box and i have displayed this drop down with the list of the uh, person post okay and we can select a multiple we can select multiple with controller command okay so let me just quickly give you an overview about this uh, meta box here so in the uh, in the movie uh, uh, .php file, I have uh, registered the meta box. Okay, so uh, we had to uh, add, register callback function add meta boxes, and in that callback function, I have called this add meta box so where I can have to just pass the ID, then meta box title, which you can see in the front uh, back end is the actors. Okay, and this is the callback function to render our meta box. Then on which post type to which post type we want to add this meta box. Okay, and then uh, what the context context means whether you want to display the meta box below the editor or in the sidebar. So I have displayed the sidebar. So displaying the sidebar, so I have used the sidebar. So if you go to the add meta box here, you can see the code. Okay, and these are the arguments you can you can see. So you can go through this argument okay to to know more about this meta box okay so and in the in this callback function to render the meta box uh, I, I i'm going to store the list of the actors uh, actors so i have kept the uh, actors so person is the post uh, like person is a post type but uh, i want to store the list of the actors in different meta uh, meta key so i am using the actors meta key here okay so i'm just fetching all the actors if there is exist in the movie post meta okay and then i'm fetching all the list of the uh, person post okay so uh, i'm i have commented this never use a minus one to fetch all the posts because assume that there are millions of uh, posts are there like hundred thousands two thousands kind of uh, person post exist uh, on your site and fetching all of it and display into the that uh, Display in this uh, select drop down uh, with multiple selection will not be a good user experience. I have did right now in this demo because like this is very small demo and I want to just quickly create a use case. So that's why. But I would recommend it that never use never fetch all the post uh, uh, in a single query and use the auto complete where the user uh, can search uh, with the uh, actor or person name uh, or some uh, their content 
and then see and allow the selection multiple selection okay and then you can save into the meta okay after that uh, i have registered a nonce field so nonce field like we code of the nonce is that nonce we will use to verify the request okay so uh, nonce is uh, provide additional security just to make sure that uh, whatever the post request is coming to that particular uh, uh, url uh, it's a valid okay and nonce uh, we can verify the nonce as well so this function add the nonce field so if you go into the inspect element um in, in here you can see this hidden value uh, mlb actors nonce and it's a value okay so this uh, nonce will be submitted when the user click on this update movie uh, update button okay and then i had select uh, uh, display a drop down with multiple selection okay um, and i have used the selected function the wordpress function i have used and uh, used the printf with the placeholders uh, okay and then so uh, this is about uh, displaying the meta box now what about uh, saving the data so uh, i have registered a callback function mlb save actors on this save uh, underscore post underscore movie so this action will execute by the wordpress whenever the movie post uh, published or saved okay so there are two methods one is save underscore post which will execute this action will execute for all the posts for all for any kind of post types for all the post type whether it's a post page or attachment for all the post types this action will save but our meta box is only registered on the movie post type and we want to only execute that callback function on that move whenever the movie post updated so uh, i used uh, the wordpress provide this another callback function uh, uh, sorry action is that post type so here post type is the post type slug and based on that our action becomes save underscore post underscore movie okay so in this uh, callback function i have first check whether this current post uh, whenever this save post a method uh, execute uh, sorry action is execute we have to just uh, first we have to check whether it's auto save or revision if it's auto save or revision we don't want to uh, we don't want to uh, save that meta information because uh, meta information won't save for auto save or revision so that's why we uh, uh, return it early next if the current user cannot edit the post or don't do not have access edit access then we will simply return it and then next we will check the nodes verification so i will i am using the filter input function this is the php function uh, and i will just get the nodes value and then using the wp verify nodes i am just verifying the nodes okay so in the nodes you have to pass the nodes value and the action this action mlb actors action you have passed when we created uh, the nonce field okay so same uh, same action you have to pass it here and this is necessary this is necessary to pass the same action to verify the nonce correctly okay because there could be multiple nonce values based on the various actions okay and then once the nonce verified uh, then we will fetch the list of the actors again i am using the filter input function because it will provide this validation constants and we can validate and sanitize the uh, our our input uh, actors uh, input fields okay and if it's not empty and if it's an array then i'm again running uh, array map uh, using the array map function and uh, uh, and use the abs integer uh, function as a callback and it will go through each and every array items and it will uh, each and every array item will pass through this abs integer function which is the wordpress function and it will convert value to non negative value so i just want to make sure that that our meta uh, whatever the input uh, form is submitted our in actors input should have only integer value nothing else because in the drop down uh, i have selected uh, uh, option value as the uh, uh, person post id okay here i haven't used the title or slug because this these values can be changed up later on as well so let's say if you if we uh, save the actors list based on the name or slug and what if uh, it was like there was a mistake in the name or slug and later user changed it then that selection will be gone because it won't be matched again and it like when you uh, saving the term i uh, work with the taxonomies or post types always use the id to save the relationship okay in the database uh, which will be like id would never be gonna change until it's uh, deleted okay and then uh, if it's uh, so we are make sureing that uh, whatever the value we have it's only integer and then update the post meta with the actors meta key okay and if 
like user has selected actors, but next time like uh, user unselecting all the actors and updating again. So in that case, we don't want to keep the empty metadata in the database because there is no need of it. So we will delete the post meta. Okay, so this is all about saving the post meta. So if I go here into KGF a movie and if I select Sanjay Tut and here's here update the movie and go back again with the Puspa movie uh, and select the Pohat Fossil and Arjun and update it again. Okay, so now if you go back here, uh, what was the post ID? Let me just check first. It's a 1837 and 1835. Okay. So I will just go here quickly this uh, inquiry uh, 1835 and 1837 are the our movie post. I will add another filter because we only need actors uh, meta key and I will just keep it actors. Okay, so our two movie posts have these actors and this is the uh, we have passed the add a uh, value um to the update post meta and wordpress will save into the serialized format into the post meta uh, in the uh, as a meta value okay now now it's time for the actual problem statement um okay so now i want to display uh, or list out or filter the movies based on the actors how we can how we gonna gonna do that so now like because like we have we have information into the post meta but it's in a serialized format and we are storing in the id so if the user want, like we are adding a filter in the front end where we are adding said, okay, you can select the actors and then you can filter the movies. How are we going to do that? Okay. The WordPress provide the meta query. So this is a WP query uh, uh, class reference in the, uh, in the developer. This is the developer.wordpress.org references classes WP query. If you go to the custom type uh, meta query, we have these uh, options meta query options okay where you can pass meta key value and meta compare we have like and not like but if even if, uh, if there is no percentage wise uh, possible probably but uh, let's say even if it's a possible with the meta query how are you going to do that like uh, in the front and we have the like the name or either we will display the name or the something okay and we want to filter it but there is another reason uh, behind that meta query we should not use for filtering the post or the custom post type post because meta query will be a time consuming and it will create a performance issue. Why? Because all the custom post types or meta information will save into the post meta table. Okay. So for example, in our this look in this site, I have a total around 52 posts um then i have two two movies uh four people post and pages have 23 pages i have media information i have like almost 45 media so including all these uh, uh custom post type post if you see into the database let me just uh, uncheck this filter uh, there are, are almost around 750 or 779 uh, total records are there but this is very small site demo site that's why it's a very small data but just assume that uh, there is a thousands of millions of posts are there and their metadata and probably uh, assuming that every post have almost more than or less than about five meta keys or five metadata record so assume that, that the post meta table will be will have millions of millions of uh, like records uh, in the post meta table and when we do a meta query definitely it will create a problem because it will join uh, jo it will perform the join query between with the post and the post meta table and it will create a, like it will be a time consuming so now what was the option and still our post meta stored into the serialized format so sometimes it's very difficult for the like query as well okay so now what was the like solution for that now here we can use the hidden taxonomy okay um see you on our next video jay wordpress